Most organisations view their business from the perspective of their product or service. Most powerful brands like Microsoft, Apple, they view their business from the perspective of their customer. That's the difference. That's the single most important difference. They are customer orientated, not product orientated. Yes, they create a product, they produce a product or they produce a service. But what they're recognising is that the customer doesn't buy the features or the attributes of the product or service. They're buying what it does in terms of fulfilling their need. And when we talk about the DNA of business success, what we're really looking for is the gap that exists between product orientation and customer orientation. And if we can find that point of difference from a customer perspective, then we know that we've nailed the brand value that really is going to make a difference. The DNA of their business success. And this is not new. I mean, this has been around for... Theodore Levitt wrote about it in 1960 in the, in the Harvard Review when he talked about the American Railways. And what he identified was the American Railways were going broke. Not because they didn't have a successful product or provide a service, they did. But they didn't deliver what the customer needed. The customer didn't live where the railhead finished. The customer lived 20 miles away. And what happened was somebody else came along and satisfied the customer need by creating a delivery service. That's the point about business DNA when we're talking from a brand perspective. The brand has to fulfill the customer need, not just be a product that can sit on the shelf and look good. If it doesn't deliver on that customer need, it's not going to be a powerful brand.